Hi everyone. Welcome back to yoga. I'm Roberta Weiner. I teach yoga at the Senior Center and the Prana Center in Holliston. And today you might notice I have a little prop with me. It's a gong. And we use the gong in yoga as one of several musical instruments that help us to relax. Some people, it affects them differently and helps them to energize. So I'll show you in a moment, but first let's get centered. So allowing eyes to close or softly gaze, getting centered just brings us into this moment. So whatever you were doing before, see if you can just let that go and give yourself permission to just be here with me for the next just little bit. See how that goes. Try to release any worries, problems, whether it's the big stuff or the little stuff. It'll be there for you later. For now, look inside. Check in with your physical body. Just see how you're feeling today. Try not to judge it, but just notice. Learning how to be the witness and observing our bodies without going into any negative self-talk. And start to notice your breath and deepening, coming into belly breathing. So the belly rises and falls as you breathe. And if you're thinking, my belly's not rising and falling, it's, it's feeling kind of tight, that's normal. What we want to do is try to get it back to its natural state, the way babies breathe, the whole body moves. So we want to let belly move as lower lungs expand and middle, uh, middle lungs, so you feel it more in your rib cage, and then bring it up into your chest. So trying to get that full breath, and go ahead and keep breathing as I kneel down by the gong, and just give you a little taste of the gong, and we'll do a little more later. So I'm just going to do a little bit now, but keep on with your breathing. We start soft, keep breathing. Keep breathing. One more time. Let's take our arms up and lower them down. And I don't know if you can feel it through the magic of television, but, but here I can feel vibrations. You know, sounds make vibrations and they help us to relax or, like I said before, they could help you to energize. So let's end our centering and that little bit of gonging by bringing our hands together and right into the heart. We say this is the heart, the heart center. And we end by chanting Om. So if you haven't chanted before, or maybe you're not sure if you want to, you could just hum. Usually we do a short ah, long O, oh, and then we end with humming. So we breathe out the mouth, in the nose. Oh. And then we start our warm up. So it's chin down, hands down, and the fingers wiggle. Just notice the fingers close and open. And if I suggest that you do anything that doesn't feel right, don't do it. You know your body best. Everything I say is just a suggestion. And then circle your wrists. So we're noticing our joints. Noticing our muscles. And then relax the arms down, wiggle your jaw. Relax the face, chin down, and your ear over towards your shoulder. Just notice your neck and level chin. We look side to side. and then bring it center and just notice where your legs are. I have one leg back, one leg forward. Sometimes it's fun to notice that and then just switch it up. Just try something different and we'll roll the shoulders. So you might find you have a customary way 
Can you hear my shoulders cracking? So sometimes joints can crack, pop. You don't want to do it on purpose, like cracking knuckles. You don't want to do that. But if it just sort of happens, it's just releasing some tension. And as long as it doesn't hurt, it's all right. We'll go the other direction, back, up, forward, and down. Just notice. And then shoulders up and drop. So I'm going in the nose and out the mouth. And then one at a time. And if it's too much, you don't go as far as I'm going. So let's leave that there and we'll go ahead and come up to standing. So if standing doesn't work for you, you can stay in the chair and that is totally fine. So I'm gonna to come to standing and I notice I'm losing my hair. Not losing my hair, losing my hair do. <laughs> go ahead and stand as tall as you can with your feet under your hip bones if you can. So when you hear teachers say your feet under your hips, it doesn't mean your hips here, it means the hip bones, so it's a straight line down. And you could look at your feet, open your toes. I'm doing my yoga barefoot today. Traditionally, it's done barefoot, but if it's not comfortable for you to be barefoot, go ahead and wear comfortable shoes. But just wearing socks could be slippery, so you wanna be safe. So barefoot or shoes are best. So we're nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. And out. We'll take the arms straight up in the air. Breathe in and slowly take them down. Breathe in. And slowly down. And one more time, we breathe in. And slowly down. So let's see how we feel about practicing a little balancing today. So we have our chair. I didn't quite have my chair. So I'm gonna step back and I have my chair. You wanna have the chair, I'm gonna move it up a little bit. You wanna have the chair so it's very comfortable for you to have a hand on it. And then and only then, think about shifting the weight to one side and the other foot will come to the toe. So I'm not fully lifting it yet. And if you feel in any way wobbly, keep your toe on the floor because safety is the most important thing. If you feel strong today, before you lift the foot, think about core muscles right around the navel. There's a lot that could be called core, but for now we're thinking about these muscles right here. See if you can squeeze them so you feel stronger. If you can't locate them, you could take your hand to your belly and squeeze right away from your hand. And then maybe, maybe lift the foot. If you feel safe, maybe come to fingertips rather than holding on. This leg might wobble. I'm standing on a little pad, so that's making it a little more challenging, which is cool. But I would suggest don't do that. So if you feel steady, completely steady, you could try lifting, but keep it right in the air. So if you're like, woo, wobbly, you can put it right back down. But you're still getting that strengthening in your leg by practicing one leg up, even if you're holding on. Let's go ahead and lower that foot. The foot you were standing on, give it a little shake. The whole leg, give it a little shake. And then we'll try second side. So same thing, we're going for the toe, touching the floor, maybe lift. Just see where you are. So you're standing on one foot, maybe. And then think about the fingertip to the chair. So the leg is doing a little more work. It might shake. A little tiny bit of shaking is okay, but if you feel unsafe, you gotta put that foot back down. If you feel safe and comfortable, you can think about taking the hand off the chair, working on your balancing. So the better we get with our balancing, I'm gonna put my hand back down, the better we get with the balancing, the safer we'll be, you know, when we might be outside and we might do a trip, we don't wanna fall. So let's go ahead and lower the legs and give that leg a shake that you were standing on and back down. So let's take the arms, we're all done with that, arms halfway up and then down, bend the knees. So it's an inhale and down out the mouth. And let's see if we can 
and hold chair pose. So for chair pose, the legs could be separated the way mine are now, or if it's comfortable for you, you could take your big toes to touch and your knees to touch. If you're still comfortable, you could sit a little deeper. And if you're still comfortable, you could raise your arms. If you feel a little wobbly here, you could take your arms right here, or you could hold on to the chair. You can always, always hold on to the chair if you need to. So the hands could be center, or they could be forward, or they could be up. So you can see what works better for you. They could also be up and bent if shoulders bother you. Let's see if we can take two deep breaths here. And then hands to the thighs, straighten the legs. Let's take a big circle up. And circle down. Circle up. And circle down. And one more time, circle up. And hands right into the center of the chest, heart center, pause. See how you're feeling here? Maybe close your eyes. If you did bring your feet together like I did, you might wanna take them apart again so they're back, the legs are back under your hip bones. That gives you a more solid base. So let's take our arms straight up in the air. If shoulders hurt, you can always bend the elbows. And we'll take a side stretch. So your hip is going that away and your arms are going the other way. We'll go back up and again you could bend. Now your hip is going that way and the arms are going the other way. This is half moon pose, so you're making this sort of crescent shape. Let's come up and hands heart center. Take an inhale and exhale. So if that was bothersome to your shoulders, try it like this. If that felt 100% fine, great. Go ahead and point and steeple like you're making that little church with your hands and we go up. So again, you could go like this, back where we were, or bent elbows, all these choices. And let's try it again. Hips one way, arms the other, and your half moon, nice deep inhale. <sighs> Couple more if you can. You can also take a hand down to your waist is always an option. Let's go ahead back up and really try to reach up, up, up before you take second side. I'm gonna do that. I'll model the hand on the waist on this side. Couple deep breaths, so my hip is going this way as my head goes that way. Come on up, little mini back bend, tiny, tiny, inhale. Exhale, let's take the hands to the back, all the way to the low back, and inhale. Exhale, and bringing it to your heart center. So, I'm gonna give you a little more gonging, so you can go ahead and have a seat or lie down, whatever you'd like to do. I'm gonna kneel here by the gong. So you're not mimicking me here, you're resting. So either have a seat, feel free to lie down, and go ahead and see how you feel. You did a little bit of stretching, did a little bit of strengthening. We wiggled fingers, we got a little more flexible. We did a little breathing. And now see if you can sink into the comfort of your chair or sink into the comfort of a couch, a bed, so with just the gong.
And as the sound of the gong starts to recede, go ahead and come back to your physical body. And you might wiggle your fingers. You might wiggle your toes. And open and closing your mouth. Inhaling, stretching arms. And exhaling, hands together, rub them vigorously. And maybe rub your feet together. And if you're in your chair, just rest. If you're lying down, you could roll to one side into a fetal position. Just check in, see how you feel. And if you are lying down, let's meet sitting. And we'll do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing. So alternate nostril breathing is a very focusing breath has a lot of great benefits, and we really want to do breathing exercises to get the lungs, the whole respiratory system, really, really healthy. So, of course, you don't want to touch your face unless your hands are clean. So hopefully with clean hands, or I'm going to have mine slightly off of my face, but here's the basic hands that you use. Traditionally, you use the right hand, and you take the right thumb, you close the right nostril, and you exhale left. Inhale left, and then close with your ring finger, the left, exhale right. You have the option of placing your two fingers to your third eye point, we call third eye, between and a little above the brow. And this is the pattern, exhale, inhale, and switch sides. Exhale, inhale, switch sides. See if you can lengthen a little bit so you have an exhale and inhale and switch and you have an exhale and inhale, switch. We'll do one more each side, exhale, inhale, switch and exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, I like to always end with the exhale. And then we'll take an inhale through the nose. Soft sigh, inhale through the nose. Soft sigh, and one more time. And soft sigh, and go ahead and either close your eyes or softly gaze. And just notice in this just a little bit of time you've been with me today. Do you feel any kind of a small shift? More relaxed, more focus. If there's anything like that you'd like to hold on to, fix it in your mind. And bring your hands together. Rub them vigorously and take them right into heart center. And maybe you can turn that, whatever it is you like, whether it's the slowing down or focusing, maybe make that into a small intention for the rest of your day. And that could be just saying to yourself, I am focused, I am relaxed. Whatever it might be, you're taking it right in here into your heart. And we'll end the practice with the word namaste, meaning the light in me honors the beautiful light in each of you. So let's try it. The light in me honors the beautiful light in you. Namaste.